Welcome back, comrades. Brave here, and in today's video, we're going to spice up our server with some thrilling adventure. We're rolling out a farming system to the game. It might be an older edition, but it does exactly what we need from a free script. So, stick around as we dive into setting up this system, proving that even classic features can bring a fresh wave of engagement and fun to our gameplay. Let's get into it and see how we can make the most of this agricultural endeavor. To kick off the integration of this dynamic update into your 5M server, begin by heading to our GitHub page. We've made this step straightforward for you by placing the link right in the video description for easy access. Upon reaching the page, proceed to download the folder. Once downloaded, unzip the folder and then copy and paste it into the server directory that best fits your configuration. The subsequent step requires a minor adjustment. Simply eliminate the word main from the folder name to guarantee a seamless setup process. Once you've renamed the folder accordingly, the next step is to integrate the key components that will breathe life into the script. Head over to the GitHub README file, where you'll discover a comprehensive list of items essential for the script's functionality. Copy these items, then navigate to your QB core slash shared slash items directory. It's recommended to create a subheading that resonates with your organizational preferences and paste the items list under this section. Following that, revisit the script folder and locate the images directory. This step is critical. Ensure you copy all the images from this directory and transfer them to the QB inventory slash HTML slash images directory on your server. This action is imperative for ensuring that all new items introduced by the script are properly visualized within the game's inventory system. The next phase involves diving into the script's configuration file. In the config file for the farming system, you'll find numerous customization options that allow you to tailor the farming experience to your server's unique environment. Here are some key aspects you can adjust. Watering time. Set how long it takes for crops to require watering again. This feature helps simulate real-time farming and adds an element of care and maintenance to the gameplay. Harvest time. Customize the time it takes for crops to grow and be ready for harvest. Adjusting this can balance how quickly players can gather resources and impact the economy of your server. Seeds and growth locations. The config file lists all the seeds available for planting and their specific growth locations. This allows for a variety of crops that can adapt to different farming scenarios and soil types. Currently, the script includes three farms and three different types of soil, each designed to support specific crops. This variety encourages players to explore different farming strategies and locations, adding depth to the server's agricultural activities. Discovering there was no designated location to purchase seeds for the farming system, I took the initiative to add this essential feature. You can find the necessary code snippet for implementing seed sales on my Discord. Once you've located the snippet, simply copy and paste it into the QB Shop's config file. This addition will integrate a shop into your server where players can buy various seeds for their farming needs. To further enhance this feature, consider adding an NPC, non-player character, or PD to act as the vendor for these seeds. Once you've made your seed purchases, head over to the designated farming area to start planting. Simply use the seeds from your inventory to plant them in the soil. After planting, you have two options for nurturing your crops to harvest. Firstly, you can water the plants quickly to reach a 100% hydration level, which allows you to immediately harvest the product.
This option simulates attentive and diligent farming practices, rewarding players who are proactive in taking care of their crops. Alternatively, if you prefer a more hands-off approach or want to simulate a more realistic growth cycle, you can wait about 10 minutes for the plants to grow naturally. This option adds a sense of anticipation and realism to the farming process, as players wait for their crops to mature over time. With the default settings of the farming system, you're initially limited to planting only five items at a time. However, this limit can be adjusted within the settings to accommodate more extensive farming operations. Once you've harvested your crops, the next step involves processing these collected items to create the final product. The coordinates for the processing locations are provided in the config file, guiding players to where they can transform their raw goods into more valuable commodities. To sell these processed items, you'll need to visit an NPC designated as a buyer for your goods. This interaction adds a trading element to the farming system, making the cultivation and sale of crops a more dynamic and engaging process. Taking this concept further, you can evolve the farming script into a full-fledged business model. In this advanced setup, players focus on farming, while a business owner coordinates the collection of raw items, processes them into final goods, and then sells these products to establishments like cat cafes or restaurants. This creates a business loop within your server, where every role, from farmers to business owners and restaurant managers, is interconnected and dependent on one another for success. Such a model not only diversifies gameplay, but also fosters a sense of community and cooperation among players, highlighting the importance of each role in the server's economy. To announce that our Discord server, Coden, has surpassed 950 plus active members and is rapidly approaching the 1,000 member milestone. A heartfelt thank you to everyone. I encourage you to join our vibrant community of 5M developers, which offers numerous benefits. Our dedicated staff manage support tickets efficiently, and all my video content, complete with download links, is first released in our Discord, accompanied by a notification system. Additionally, members can share free original scripts for community use. We also feature dedicated channels for general discussions, QB Core, and ESX support. Our aim is to provide comprehensive, free support and assist everyone in the community. Join us today and make a difference. Much love from the Coden team.